here's something about the unary postfix operators um, and uh, they've got a higher priority than the prefix operators and here's an example that illustrates that, it's about the only one I can come up with I think uh, if you look at i equals uh, minus b minus minus then how that's interpreted is is that um, uh, the minus minus is applied first and then and then the uh, net minus in front okay and if you try and interpret it um, any other way for example is like that uh, then you get an error because uh, minus b is a, a value and you can't apply uh, that decrement operator to a value it has to be a variable right um, uh, so another thing that's quite important is that um, the left hand side of any binary operation operator is always evaluated before the right hand side okay so if you have something like this i equals naught int k equals uh, i minus 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 uh, 5 minus that it gets interpreted as as follows if you see i equals 0 so that will be 0 there minus minus so i would now become minus 1 subtract off 5 minus so we've got minus 1 uh, minus 1 in there and it's um, incremented so it goes back up to 0 okay so that's uh, that's that expression on the right okay now if it's done the other way round, I starts off at 0, so you get this plus plus i coming in, so i would now be 1, and so it'd be 5 minus 1 in there, and that would be subtracted from uh, 1 here, so you'd have 1 there and 1 there. Okay, so that would give, uh, that would give a different result. So there is a difference between between where the order in which these are done, and you have to be careful about that. Now, some some languages are not too um, particular about that, and when you've got expressions like this, which involve a side effect, in fact, it, effectively, um, because this is having a an effect on either variable, but it's also being used again later on. That's very bad code, by the way. But um, when you've got this. Um, uh, some compilers are not uh, are not very clever about it in some languages, but Java it's all specified and uh, and well defined. Right, um, assignment. Uh, you can look upon that as an operator as well. That equals sign, and uh, you can in fact do multiple assignments. So, for example, you could have something like that: uh, i equals j equals k equals 42, and that would set the whole lot of being 42 because the uh, value that comes the result of that is k uh, and it's uh, 42 basically and, uh, and the result of that assignment is 42 and so on so it's being applied all the way down um, now obviously we can uh, stretch this a bit because if we uh, take the old uh, um, d f l b s and i for um, double float long um, uh, byte short and integer uh, and try setting zero to that that would give an error because um, in effect what you're doing here is you're setting zero to i that's fine you're then taking i which is an integer uh, an integer value of zero and setting it to, to um, a short and that's not allowed that would give an error so you get an error if you try and write that down. But if you write it down in this order, it would be OK, because here, um, zero uh, bytes being set to zero. So we've got a zero and a byte here, which we can set to a short just by widening and widening again each time down. So that's fine. 